Hello and welcome to my worker guide, let's get started. In the early quest you will get some contracts that allow you to hire a worker, so you'll probably got your first worker there. Workers are used to gather resources instead of you, they can travel between link nodes, but be careful from where you send them from. Sending a worker from Calfion to Viela is a waste of worker speed. First things first, you will need to get a lodging house in or connected to a major city. You can have only one worker in each city without lodging. To hire a worker, you will need to visit a work supervisor, located in every major city, marked with a pickaxe on your map. Hiring workers costs 5 energy and up to 90,000 silver, depending on the worker's skill. So always have that much silver either in your storage or in your pocket. You can always view another worker, but it will cost you another 5 energy. Once a worker finishes his task, the materials he got will be in the city storage from which he was hired from. You will need to give workers beer to replenish stamina. Beer is made of 5 wheat or potatoes, 6 mineral water, 2 leveling agents and 1 sugar. You can make it in your residence. Here is a cook vendor in Viela. Ok, now that we got the basics down, let's look at worker stats, race and why they are important. The four stats are work speed, move speed, luck and stamina. Work speed determines how fast your worker will be doing a task while at the node. Moving speed tells you how fast your worker will be going to and from the node. Luck tells you the odds of getting a secondary material. We will go more in depth with this stat later. Stamina tells you how many times a worker can do his task before he needs to replenish stamina from beer. We have three races, giants who excel at stamina, goblins who excel at both speeds, and humans who are something in between with more luck. Giants are recommended for players who don't play the game every day because of their stamina. Goblins are recommended for long tasks such as investment banks. Humans are recommended for daily players who want the most profit out of their workers. Let's look at luck or as I like to call it crit, and why is it so important. As mentioned earlier, luck will determine how much secondary resources you will get. You have probably noticed that most of these materials will sell instantly at the marketplace and for a good price as well. They are used in things like alchemy, so if you want alchemy, I suggest going to BD database and checking what materials you will need to make a desired product. All nodes can crit, they can crit on a secondary material and if there is no secondary, you will get even more of the primary resource. For example, wheat will crit into even more wheat, so luck has a direct impact on all other stats. That is why I use all human workers. Sadly, I have not noticed luck having an impact on the workbenches in the city. I hope you enjoyed the video, remember to share, subscribe and stay awesome!